drink up. Frank, did you just buy Frat Boy a beer? Don't worry about it. I laced it with sleeping pills. He's gonna be out like a light in two minutes. Yeah, that is some diabolical shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on with the sex moves? I've been laying chum up and down this plane. Yeah, I know. I've noticed. Yeah, no, I've got my prey picked out. I'm just waiting for the right moment to pounce. What are you talking about? You haven't moved an inch. You're just drinking. Was well, that what you think? Mm -hmm. Frank, of the 206 passengers on this flight, 98 of them are women, but only one of them okay. is a suitable yeah. candidate. 44G. Notice how she glances forlornly at the empty seat next to her. It was meant for someone special. And a tan line on her ring finger suggests the wound is still fresh, leaving her vulnerable. Furthermore, when we hit turbulence earlier, she giggled, telling me she's a bit of a thrill seeker. You think she off the guy and went on the run? Pretty tough to lay low in a dress like that. Granted, it's not a particularly remarkable garment. It's from the J. Crew Spring 2012 collection, although it is a bit much for an airplane. Furthermore, if she were standing, you'd notice she's got no panty line, giving me about five extra seconds to enter her swiftly before she realizes I am not the answer to her problems. <laughs> I'll tell you, my tastes lie a little bit more in 39F. No. No, thank you, Frank. Now, her blouse is covered in cigarette burns. And I imagine underneath that blouse, you'll find copious amounts of road rash, probably sustained in some sort of off-roading accident, which would also explain her limp. Although, something tells me the two are unrelated. Either way, she's North Dakota trash through and through and far beneath a gentleman such as myself. Uh, miss, six more beers.